Okay, so today, or tonight, I'm going to talk about how to put together your project box that goes on the back and how to build your wiring. Uh, I have a simple station set up here. Actually, it's a rather complex station. Uh, took a little bit of time. Everything's plugged in. Uh, we're going to start out first with the wiring. Uh, you're going to need about 26 inches of wiring. 24 should be enough to stretch it from uh, panel to panel. I just gave two inches extra. These uh, connectors are real simple. Just take a uh, like an eyeglass screwdriver and everything should separate. You usually have to twist and give a pull. Now you got the two components. Uh, I've got a smaller vise here that holds the wiring so that there's no uh, tugging on this end. Just anchor the end here in the vise lightly. Right, so black should go on top. It's real easy to strip these uh, if you don't have wire strippers. And just press down lightly. So the black is going to go on top. Um, first thing you want to do is take a piece of your heat shrink tubing, slide it over both wires. And then you want to take your collar or your upper piece and slide that over both wires. Everything will fit. One down, out, hot. And then straighten out the wire when you take off. Now the wires are not touching. And all you want to do, crap, I made it on the spec first. Nope. Maybe you should put the collar on first. I did put this on upside down though. Just jam the heat shrink tubing up as high as it goes. And the hottest part of your soldering, soldering iron is actually right in here. Just slide up your collar. You can take everything out of the vise now. And then, start reapplying screws. All right. So now, let me shut my soldering iron off. Let's see if I have this lined up right. If you have this done right, your uh, positive and negative should, these two plugs should be identical. The left should be, uh, crap. The left should be positive and the right should be negative. Uh, you can test this with continuity on a multimeter. I shouldn't need to show you how to do that. Um, this is my project box. This is one that I finished already. If you have everything in tight, it should fit nice. So that's the two ends. And that is how you build your wires for this. This will allow you to bridge your panels, 
together and how to eventually run one big wire up to a junction box where you can put a string together. Um, I already have this part put in. These are the nuts and the uh, hollow nipple, the steel nipple that you, you got from your lamp supply and all that. You won't need the soldering iron anymore, at least not yet. Um, all I have on here is a stepped drill bit. The biggest drill bit I had before was a quarter inch or three eighths or something, uh, which is too small for this. So the way a stepped bit works, every one of these uh, different levels is a different thickness. And uh, these bits are a little bit expensive, but I mean, it's a whole kit all in one. So you just drill out a new step, doesn't fit yet. Once it does fit, you want to make sure, test it real good. Doesn't go all the way through. Unfortunately, I don't have a ream this size. I do do some tool and die on the side. Uh, in this box, this is an end piece. This is going to be the very end of the line, so there's only one hole in it. Uh, all you do. I somehow got an extra washer. This is a lock washer. It keeps constant tension on the uh, nut. When you put this in, I doubt I can zoom in very well, but on one side here there's little grooves cut into the pins. That allows you to rest the wire in there, kind of like what we were doing with uh, building our actual uh, con junction, our connection. You want to have that facing up. There, now it's threaded. The only real trick to this is now you can take that mini screwdriver and wedge it in there between those two pins. Now this piece won't spin. And you're going to wish you had an extra set of hands for this. But what you do, take a pair of needle nose pliers, grab onto that nut and spin it. If this nut isn't super tight, when you go to hook up your wiring, this connection might spin in the box and that would be a big problem. Alrighty. I uh, did a little bit of work. Uh, this still needs some small adjustment with the uh, cutting on the plastic. What you need to do though is uh, take a piece of your channeling if you haven't bought it already. Uh, you can measure in about a quarter of an inch. Lay it on the edge and that will let you know how far in your uh, edge will go. And I just took a sharpie marker and marked a centering mark right here on the... Uh, that's where my Opening's going to go. Oh, I probably didn't mention this is the plexiglass laying on top of the uh, glass. I did not mark the glass. So we're going to head downstairs and cut that. Alright, I already took the liberty of drilling a pilot hole. Uh, you don't want to drill all the way through. And this is a good reason why these stepper bits <coughs> are very useful. Uh, just have this off to the side so you can measure. And uh, don't forget your safety goggles or face shield. It's really important it's really important to have plexiglass well supported. Uh, it's very very easy to crack especially if you're drilling near the edges. Uh, as you can see that doesn't quite cut it. That'll do it.